Security has always been a top concern in many places, especially during desperate times, cases of snatch thefts, break-ins are on the rise. When we think of security, one of the first is security cameras, but traditional CCTVs is troublesome, requires a lot of drilling and power routing, which may not be an ideal setup. Today we're taking a look at Real Link's answer to security and let's see how they have transformed the CCTV landscape. Welcome to a review of the Real Link Argus 2E. Hello, my name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do a lot of hack reviews as well as unboxing and if that is something that interests you, do consider subscribing to this channel, leave a thumbs up on this video as well as share this video to all your friends around. And with that said, let's get on with a review of the Real Link Argus 2E. So the Argus 2E today is sent to me by Real Link for review and I'm really excited to share with you all the technology and how awesome this camera really is. And for 72 US, which is about 340 Malaysian Ringgit, I think this camera is super value for money considering that all the features you'll be getting. So if you're looking to get this camera, do check out my links below. So the Real Link Argus 2E is designed with simplicity in mind, meaning you don't have to worry about rerouting power, drilling for data cables so that you can have footage viewable on a computer. All those are technologies of the past. And with the Argus 2E, it comes with a built-in battery, so charge it up, set it up with the app, which is super straightforward, and place it anywhere that you want. And if you want a permanent power source connected to it, you can also buy Real Link solar panel to give you a free energy to charge up your camera. The camera is made of a gloss white finish with a black glossy front as its main styling, uh, very modern looking and at the front of course you'll be getting a large lens which also uh, houses a 1080p sensor to help with all the full HD recordings. So on top of the lens you'll also be getting a light sensor indicator to detect if it's daytime or nighttime and it will automatically turn on the infrared LED so you can see when it's in night vision mode. At the bottom here, which is this big panel here, this is where it houses the PIR motion sensor, which also stands for Passive Infrared Sensor, to detect if there are any moving objects in front of the camera. Uh, you'll also be getting a microphone uh, at the bottom here, and at the bottom of the speaker itself, you'll be getting a large speaker to broadcast any message or use it for two-way communication. And at the side of the camera, if you open up this flap, you'll also be getting a couple of things inside. So at the top here, you'll be getting a on-off switch. You'll also be able to see the small reset button there. And here you have your slot for your micro SD. So the flap here also protects the camera from moisture since the camera is also rated to be IP65 dust and water resistant. So you can put this outside in the weather and it shouldn't be much of a problem. So behind the camera, you will also be getting a watertight flap that hides the micro USB port behind. So you can also use a standard micro USB or any power socket to charge up uh, the battery inside the Real Link Argus 2E or you can also connect Real Link solar panel into this micro USB port and charge it up. And below that, you'll also be getting a screw hole so you can mount your camera anywhere that you want. So inside the box, you'll be getting a mount with a screw head in front so you can also mount this camera to a wall. You can drill it and hold it permanently into a spot or you can also use any uh, existing screws or nail to hook this camera up. So it's setting up is very easy. And all you gotta do is screw the mount into the screw hole itself and you're good to go. So there you go. So in terms of its optical performance, the Argus 2E performs exceptionally well. In well-lit areas, these are very sufficiently sharp for a CCTV camera and have good color rendition. And the 120 degree wide angle lens also helps give good coverage for most situations. When it's dark outside, the infrared LED turns on and night vision mode kicks in, 
giving you crisp and clear footage even when it's pitch black outside. And the great thing about this is that the video quality doesn't degrade and you can still get that 1080p footage even at night. One of the great smart home integration that Reolink builds into their camera is that it allows you to stream your camera over Google Home or Amazon Alexa. But the catch is that your Google Home or Amazon Alexa has to have a screen, so like the Google Nest Hub or the Amazon Echo Show. And with the Google Nest Hub, it's easy to ask Google to stream your camera. Whenever the camera detects movement, you will automatically get an alert on your device and if you set it up with email, it will also send you an email. Or if you set it up to sound the siren when it detects movement, it will also do that. So one of my favourite features is that the camera only turns on and records when it detects movement, dramatically saving battery life and you'll also be getting the footage that matters. So you won't be getting unnecessary footage recorded into the memory card so you don't have to scroll through and scrub through all the huge amount of footage just to find a specific moment. So everything that is recorded here are special moments. And if you add on another 27 US, Reolink also sells you their solar panel to give you unlimited free energy to power your camera. And to be honest, this is one of the nicest solar panels that I've seen so far, with very nice texture to protect the panel from corroding in the weather. So this is actually a very high quality product by Reolink. So there are a couple of technologies that make this camera very easy to set up and easy to use and starting with the app, once you've set up the app and connected your camera, you can start controlling your camera. So at the first page here, you get to see all of your available cameras. So if you have multiple real links cameras set up, you can have like a central command center to control all of them. So in this case, at the top here, you see devices. So this is where all your devices will be. And cloud, you get to set up your cloud storage with real link. So you can store all your footage there. And also smart home, which you can enable whether or not to connect this to a smart device like the Google Home. So here you can also quickly check your camera's battery percentage right at the corner of the screen here uh, and also toggle whether or not you want PIR motion sensor or not so this is uh, very easy for you to toggle uh, and once you click into your camera there's a couple of things you can do here so right off the bat if you can see here so you can see this is a live footage so the first button here you can pause your streaming and you can play it back so it starts connecting to the camera again and once that's done you can also toggle between to play audio to listen to what your camera is picking up so that's the second icon uh, the third icon here you can also toggle to snap a photo uh, and you can also start recording so you can see the recording uh, light there and once you stop it it will also be saved into your camera roll so you can toggle that uh, here you can also set up between uh, fluent mode or 1080p so under fluent mode this is a, a lower resolution one uh, which you can also see later in the settings or you can also go full 1080p so that will be the full resolution and the last button here will be to put it into full screen mode so tapping on the talk button at the bottom here you go into two-way communication mode so you can talk to whoever the camera is pointing to so let's try that out hello hello testing hello, 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 hello. and next to that you have playback mode which will uh, highlight all of the different events that are happening uh, in different times so you can see that when your camera is on it will be highlighted so you know exactly at that date you actually have something going on so these are all the entire timeline of something that has happened so you can click onto any of it and you can see the footage itself so the key thing to remember here is that the camera doesn't record 24 7 which is pretty pointless if a camera does that because you will know when something important is happening so the camera instead uses the PIR sensor and only begins recording when movement is detected so it'll save the important moments and secondly it saves battery life so at the top here if you press the three dots up here you also be able to toggle between a couple of settings so channel selection and the second one is the day and night selection so here you can either choose it to go full auto or you can toggle it and force it into infrared mode so here it will use infrared to uh, start bouncing infrared light so that the camera can read it or you can also put it onto auto so it'll detect the light sensitivity and whether it's bright enough or dark enough and it'll toggle on its own and if you click into the settings button here there's a couple of things that you can do so at the top here you get to see the battery percentage so as you can see i've left my camera on for the fourth day now and it's still 89 percent since there's not much uh, events going on it doesn't record a lot so it only records when there's something moving so 
with the solar panel that real link sells i think that would be a very good combo so here you can also see the network that it's connecting to if you click into display you can uh, select to rotate the screen rotate the screen means to flip the screen this is if you want to mount your camera upside down you can also toggle between the different quality here so you can see uh, in clear mode you can either run it 1080 or 720p and what is the frame rate and maximum bit rate and at the bottom here you can choose to also have uh, water marking and privacy marking which is very cool if let's say there's a specific portion on your video that you want to uh, block out you can also use privacy mask if you go back you can also set the PIR motion sensor so this allows you to toggle between the sensitivity of uh, detection you can also reduce false alarm up here so you can also toggle the camera to give you push notifications so in the event that the camera detects a movement it will send a notification to your phone so all in all as you can see this is a very comprehensive app and i think that reolink did a very good job with making this app so that it's easy for you to control multiple cameras together so honestly for me this is an easy buy and i specifically love smart home automation and whenever a smart device connects to google home it's something that i will definitely buy and if you think about it for 70 us you're paying very little for a lot of peace of mind so that is it for this review if you find this video helpful smash that thumbs up button share this video everywhere and if you haven't yet subscribed do consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next video